This is Philip Tracy, editor at RCR Wireless News and Industrial IoT 5G. I'm here with Todd Humphreys and Constantine Karamanis. They're both professors at the University of Texas at Austin and co-organizers of this year's Texas Wireless Summit. Todd, let's go right into the details. Can you talk about this year's summit? When is it happening? Where is it happening? And what can somebody expect who's attending? Sure. So the Texas Wireless Summit this year is going to be held October 18th. It'll be at the Blanton Museum on the UT campus. And it's special this year because we're going to be addressing connectivity, sensing, and data analytics for the uh, automated vehicle space. So, of course, automated vehicles is all the rage right now. But the angle we're taking is about how they talk to each other, how they sense their environment, and how we can use machine learning techniques to help them understand and tag their environment and start to make sense of, of the fields they're moving through. So uh, it's going to be something that draws probably around 300 people from industry, from academia. We've got a wonderful lineup of speakers, and we're uh, really looking forward to the summit this year. Great. And um, Constantine, if you don't mind talking a little bit about the history of the Texas Wireless Summit. Yeah, I'd, I'd love to. And uh, you know, the Texas Wireless Summit is basically the main event that um, WNCG puts on. WNCG is the Wireless Networking and Communications Group. It's a consortium of about 22 faculty, exactly 22 faculty, um, at the University of Texas. From electrical engineering, I'm, myself, I'm in electrical engineering, Todd's in aerospace engineering. We also have faculty from the mathematics department and computer science. Um, so this group was founded uh, 14 years ago, and one of the things that it uh, that um, really sets it apart, I think, and, and also this is something that's reflected in the, in the Wireless Summit, is uh, it's very close collaboration with industry. So uh, WNCG has, uh, has 10 industry affiliates at the current time. We work very closely with them uh, to define what are the cutting edge problems that are going to have impact in the next five years, 10 years, that, that time frame. And uh, the Texas Wireless Summit, TWS, has been, uh, we're in a, the 14th year of that as well this year. And it is a conference that is really uh, viewed as a collaboration between industry and academia. We bring in technologists, we bring in, um, we bring in academics from all over the world, in fact. And uh, every year we, we pick a topic that we think is exciting and important. Um, this year, it's, uh, as Todd was discussing, focused around uh, the automated vehicle. Um, last year, just to put it in some context, we focused uh, more exclusively on 5G. The previous year, it was on video and wireless and, and issues around, around that. Great. So this year's autonomous vehicles, last year's 5G. What else is new at this year's event? If Todd, you want to talk a little bit about that? Sure. So this year is special for a couple of, of reasons. First of all, we have uh, an opportunity to see the world debut of the AT&T vision for 5G. They've uh, prepared a, a big demonstration for us. And in the morning session, they'll be given a talk. And then they'll go to a demonstration We'll all be able to gather around and see what they, they plan to do as they roll out technologies at 60 gigahertz at, for high bandwidth communication to vehicles, to, to, to people, et cetera. So we're looking forward to that. We're also looking forward to a startup showcase that we'll be holding in the afternoon. This is uh, going to be eight to 10 startups that we pick from the Austin area, from Texas. And these startups will compete in, uh, in a, in, in a a competition judged by some judges that we'll be choosing from the uh, VC community and from the UT community. And the, the winner from the startup showcase will be get, given $5,000. Roden Schwartz has stepped up with a sponsorship for that. So we're looking forward to the startup showcase. Lastly, the, uh, the WNCG has formed a subgroup uh, that's going to be focused on automated vehicles going forward and all of their needs in sensing and communications and in analytics. This subgroup is called SAVES and will be inaugurated at the 2016 Texas Wireless Summit. So we've got these three special events to look forward to at the summit. Great, and throughout the summit you'll be having panels and keynotes and, and talks and everything. Um, so I guess to, to both of you, um, what are you looking forward to the most? Sure, so for me, I, I really, have an entrepreneurial edge, and so I'd like to see how the startup showcase turns out. 
I'm also interested to see what AT&T's demo looks like. Uh, is it really going to solve the problems in, with bandwidth um, that we have right now for, for connectivity to these uh, Internet of Things or to the vehicles? And uh, I'm looking forward, too, to the inauguration of saves. It seems that this was something that's been a long time in coming. WNCG has had um, a growing collaboration with the Center for Transportation Research at the University of Texas. And out of that collaboration has grown this new subcenter, this SAVE subcenter. I'm excited to kick it off and to uh, give birth to this newborn center. Great. What about you, Constantine? You know, I'm excited about the whole program because uh, we've got, we've got uh, I think, a great lineup of speakers, but we also have two panels, which I think are going to be really exciting. Um, but let me just focus on two of our speakers. We have, uh, we've organized the program around a morning keynote. And this is going to be Dr. Sanjeev Nanda. Uh, Sanjeev it leads the engineering effort around the automated vehicle for Qualcomm. Um, and uh, I'm, re I'm really looking forward to, uh, to what he has to say. He is, uh, he is an experienced technologist who's had impact in, in a number of areas. And, and now he's focused on this. So I'm really excited about that. Uh, our afternoon speaker is, uh, comes from the academic side. And, and uh, it's Professor Peter Stone. Peter Stone is actually a professor in the computer science department at UT Austin, and he has focused on uh, robotics. In fact, this summer they won the uh, championship in robo soccer, uh, which is exciting. Nice. But uh, but a considerable about a considerable effort of his research has started focusing on automated vehicles. Um, he also recently um, chaired a uh, Stanford study on AI and the impact that AI is going to have artificial intelligence on our lives over the next 100 years. And one of the topics that uh, they focused on is really going to be transformative for our lives is the automated vehicle. So it's, it's really fantastic that he is able to come and, uh, and give our afternoon keynote. So I mean, I guess of all the things in the program, those are the two, two points that I would, I would highlight for myself. Great. And uh, speaking of research, you will, both of you do research within the autonomous vehicle track. Um, can you talk a little bit about the research that you all do? I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> um, that's a professor joke. <laughs> so uh, my, my work is mostly focused on uh, machine learning and computation. And I think that these are two aspects that are uh, really important on the analytics side. Uh, so as Todd was mentioning earlier, um, the, th the three pillars, as we see it, of, of, of Texas Wireless Summit this year um, are communication, sensing, and data analytics. Um, so my focus is on understanding um, how you can find patterns in massive data and be able to do that in a way that respects um, the time scales that are appropriate for the, for the particular applications. And I think that the safety critical aspects of the autonomous vehicle uh, and the potential for massive connectivity really is going to um, is really going to test um, the limits of, of, of uh, what we can do in terms of machine learning and data analytics on the platform. Um, so I've been interested in the various of those aspects, and um, I think they're going to be, I hope they'll be reflected at, uh, at this year's uh, summit. Yeah, very interesting and important things, for sure. I hope so. Yeah. And Todd, about your research. Yeah, so my research is more on the sensing side. I'm interested in how the vehicle locates itself and how it uh, determines whether there's an impending collision. And not only that, but how to the, do these location and collision avoidance tasks robustly so that a glare from the sun or a jamming event or something doesn't totally derail the vehicle. Uh, how to do it accurately also. So if you think about automated vehicles, how accurate do they need to know their location in a relative sense, in a global sense, I believe that's about at the decimeter level, you know, three or four inches, because you'd like to keep these cars in their lane. If they slip into the next lane, or in any part of them slips into the next lane, there could be a, a collision that they, that they would like to avoid. And doing this in all environments, in all weather conditions, rain, snow, sleet, uh, and, and fog, and in a downtown environment, say, all of this is quite difficult for current automated systems. Uh, another 
aspect that I like to engage with is the security aspect. So how do we know that the communications from other vehicles telling us where they are, what their velocity is, how do we know we can trust those? And if we can verify them, then do we really need them in the first place? And uh, if somebody uh, has an ability to attack our sensor systems, shine a laser pointer into our, into our LIDAR system or jam our radar or our, or our GPS, how will that debilitate our, uh, our safe ability to, to drive in these conditions? All of these are the long-term challenges for automated vehicles. We've got to fight Mother Nature, and we've got to fight adversaries who might be out there trying to hack into the systems and, and cause mayhem in, in traffic. So for these reasons, uh, the automated vehicle space is going to be just a fertile area for research for decades going forward. And I think you'll see that reflected in the Texas Wireless Summit. Yeah, well, these are all really important and interesting topics, um, and they're going to define the, the future of our transportation. Todd, Constantine, thank you very much for being here. Thank and, you, Phil. Uh, we look forward to seeing you in October. Great.